hottest criminal in the world. That's what it says. Jeremy Meeks was arrested in 2014 and has become known as one of the hottest criminals the world has ever known. So 2014, I was, I was 17, 17 turning 18, and I remember this picture. After police posted Jeremy's mugshot to Facebook, which, why do they do that? But anyway, the internet exploded with nothing but love for him. In February 2015, he served 13 of his 27-month prison sentence. Once released, he pursued a modeling career, making his runway debut during the 2016 New York Fashion Week.
police uploaded her mugshot to Facebook and the internet was entranced by her looks. Mirella's mugshot gained her over 2,000 likes and comments, some including the only crime she committed was stealing my heart or can we just take a minute and admire her brows though? Hashtag on fleek. Her makeup does look very good, I will say. I remember this one too. Charles Dion McDowell. He was arrested in November 2018, and it's quite obvious why his mugshot went viral. After Charles was released from jail, he took to the internet to respond to all his new followers and the new fame that he had gained. He was also able to meet Daddy Longneck, a guy from Michigan with a pretty long and Alyssa B. Zabrowski, The Day of the Dead Girl. In 2018, Alyssa Zabrowski was arrested and it wasn't long before her mugshot went viral due to her distinct facial tattoos. According to AOL, <laughs> AOL.com, Alyssa's facial tattoos resemble the face paint worn during the Mexican holiday that celebrate those that have passed, more specifically known as de los muertos. To make matters worse for herself, she was arrested again in April 2019, making her viral go once again. Interesting. <laughs> so it's like a side-by-side -side comparison of the two times that she was arrested, so I wanted to see the difference. Number three, Orlando Lopez. It says, bullying is not okay. In June 2019, Orlando Lopez was arrested and brought to a North Carolina police station. Uh, Orlando's mugshot went viral, but not for reasons the arresting agency was happy about. The agency decided to add this me message to his mugshot posters. Even though this individual has been charged with a crime, he is someone's child slash family member. It's obvious he was injured somehow. Please refrain from making jokes slash negative comments. That was nice of them. Philip Fester, or I'm sorry, Philip Lester, the man with the toe head. A homeless man named Philip Lester was arrested back in April 2019 after getting in a fight with another homeless man. According to Gossip on this .com. Philip's mugshot went viral on social media due to the size and awkward shape of his head. One person commented, he's definitely headed to jail, while another wrote, he, his head looks like a throbbing big toe. People are so mean. Oh gosh, number one, Anjanette Welk. On May 10th, 2018, and Jeanette Welk was involved in a car accident that ended the life of another person. Following her arrest, police took Aunt Jeanette for her mugshot where she was all smiles, causing her to go viral. Later in court though, she was singing a different tune, crying her eyes out after being sentenced to 11 years in prison. For you to get arrested though for a car accident that killed someone you have to like like flee the scene or something like that i don't know i would be interested in finding that out too but yeah 11 years in prison anyway so those are the 20 mug shots um i hope this video wasn't too weird um i hope that you guys enjoyed um I thought the video was interesting. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and definitely keep a lookout soon because it's almost October and true crime season is going to be in full swing very soon. So keep an eye out for that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you next